and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Spring training baseball coming your way. It's the Chicago White Sox going up against Chinese Taipei. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. Today's starting pitcher, Chen. Well, he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Next one misses two and one. Line drive Adam in center field. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. This is a veteran led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Two down, nobody on. That's a ball. Two ball, one strike. Fouls one off, two and two. And a pitch. That one to first. Has some trouble with it. Gets it there in time, though. And they do get the third out. The inning is over. Nothing doing for the White Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the first. 0-0. Zero, zero. Back here at the ballpark. And on the hill in this one, Jimmy Lambert. What do you look for here? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Now the left fielder, number 14. In the air, right center field. This is demolished. Way back and gone. He'll touch them all, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's one nothing. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. <laughs> knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So digging in, Chen. Righty delivers. That one oh, missed. Inside. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Next one is off the play. Three and one. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. The pitch. Ground ball left side. Bare hand grab. The throw. He beats it out and the tapper turns into an infield single. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw. But very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Now, here is number 39.
Line drive, base hit down the line. Chen around second, headed for third. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. And that's a double. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. And here's the first baseman, number 85. Falling behind two and one. At this point, the clean inning is over. Got to settle in, focus on the hitter, and get out of it with minimal damage. Left-hand hitter waits. And That's another perfect. ball. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Base runners at second and third here. No outs. At the belt and fires. This one lifted in the air, left field. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. Runner tags from third, throw is offline, and he scores. And they lead by two. There you go, nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat, got the job done. So up next, Maddie. number 77. The right field. Number 77. Here's a 1-1. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. Let's take a look at our lineup. Number four, getting ready to hit. The catcher, number four. And a 1-1. And that's a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. And a pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Squeezes it, and that'll do it. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. One inning in the books here. Chinese Taipei out front, two to nothing. All set for the start of the Moving inning. Off, now here's the cleanup hitter for the White the Sox. Sox. Luis Robert. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. So now one and two. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Line drive, base hit right field. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And here is C.J. Crone. On the ground to the left. And it stays fair. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Now the third baseman, Jake Berger. The pitch. And that one is inside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Swings through that one. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, but he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a guy is just commanding those parts of the strike zone and 
Swings and misses. Struck him out. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Andrew Vaughn now. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Brings it in. Two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at-bat. Here's Elvis Andrews. Robert, the lead runner at second. Crone on at first with two down. Swing and a miss, and it's three and two. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. And down on strikes, and that's the third out. White Sox strand a couple. They trail things here, two nothing. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now number zero. Number zero. And there's a ball. Next offering is foul back. The 2-2. Two -two. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. That was a pretty good pitch. No, Top of the strike it. zone. We're no, seeing no, 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 more no, no. fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. At the play, number 35. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. That Ball misses two. the zone. Two balls, two strikes. That's inside. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next offering is foul back. Three and two now. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Robert hauls it in for the out. Two down. Batting nine. Not short stop. So two down now, and here is number 30. The two one. Swing and a miss, and he was full. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Kicks and fires. In the air, right field. Benintendi makes the grab, and that's the inning. After two, it's a 2 nothing ball game. Welcome back. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. The catcher. Yasmani Grandal. The 1 1. And he takes a strike. In the air, right field. Number 77 on the move to his left. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Back Here's Tim Anderson. He's all for one. One down, base is empty. To the right side, and that one handled. On to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Now batter, the right view. Andrew. 
Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And now the lefty on the ground. And that chance handled. Tosses to first, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. They're still down. It's two zip. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. Here's the left fielder, number 14. He's not the power guy, but he can hurt you to all parts of the ballpark. And the righty deals. And that's ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Nobody out. Runner at first. Runner on the goal. Puts a bunt down. Flips it behind his back. And that's an out on the sacrifice. Now batting, number 39. Number 39 will hit next. Doubled his first time up. Well struck right field. That's down, one hops off the wall. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's three zip. Close play, but in there. Well, it was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock, you add a run. Man at second with one away. And now the first baseman, number 85. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. Runner at second here, one gone. The next offering misses, and the count's full. There's a swing and a drive. Robert going back on it. Back some more. Gone! He sends it out of here, and they tack on to their lead. It's five zip. It's really impressive how he's able to take an outside fastball, get around it, and hit it with authority to the pull side. Most guys are popping up weakly to the opposite field. Number 77, now at the plate. Glide out his first time. Right-hander kicks, deals. On the ground to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Two gone now. It's a good recovery, though, out. after giving up no the problem. home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, number four. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because He's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. Swing and a miss. <laughs> now fly ball to right center. Robert on the move. Makes the catch inning over. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. And the lead is now 5-0. And welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Now the left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. Jimenez. Chang into the game. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Kicks and deals. 
Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Aloy Jimenez leaves the yard and they've got their first run. It's 5-1. to the game first pitch out of the bullpen a tough one and you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike and on the other side is a hitter it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly it's not what they were looking for when they turned to him but now he's got to find a way to reset Luis Robert now one for one with a single so far the one one is fouled off And the pitch. Got him. One down. Well, big power guy right there and generating the so much bat speed. It's hard off. to bring that to a halt once you've oh, committed. Wow. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that oh, one for strike two. two fooled on that pitch got a little anxious and now in a two strike count he's going to have to widen out his stance choke up on the bat and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Crone retire. Now back third base. Jake. Two outs base is empty. Stepping in the long ball threat Jake Berger. 0 for 1 he struck out swinging last time. The 1 1. Ground ball to the right side. He steps on the bag. That's the third out. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now 5 1. Welcome back. And they turn to a new arm as we kick off the bottom of the fourth. Dylan Cease. Still pretty early in the Ladies ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of them. Now, Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. So digging in, number 23. The second base, number zero. Two-two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. The well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of guys didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics. And they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls. But because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play. And they can't glove it cleanly. Throw to first. Gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the now second out. out. Number 30. And now the shortstop, number 30. Two two down. And that one a little bit high. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. James Caprillion up and throwing. Number 38 warming up as well. And a 3 2. Fights it off. He'll see another. The kick, the 3 2. And he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's Number the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Here's the look. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Number Chen, the runner on first with two gone for him. The pitch. And yeah, there's the strike. Good. 
good eye right there. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. He's going. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Ball misses. Throw to second. Yeah. Out at second. That ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. So remaining in the game defensively, Chen. He pinch hit last half inning, but now he's in a position he's not familiar with at all. Seems like a questionable move. The designated hitter, Andrew Vaughn. Here. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Chen. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. That hits the dirt, and it's two and one. You know, these White Sox, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And he deals. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He made him pay for that one, and they slice into the lead. It's 5-2. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. So up next, Elvis Andrews went down on strikes his first time through. Out to short. Whips it to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. The catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. 0 for 1 so far. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two away. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the shortstop, Tim Anderson. Two outs. This to third, and that one handled. And that is He's that. Out. White Sox draw a bit closer thanks to this home run. It's now 5-2.